day of the memory watch. The location is here. Presumably these are three soldiers of the Red Army. We came across a skull and a pair of legs. Yesterday we finished those locations over there, and today we started a new one. Tikhanovic found a horse with horse tack, and we have soldiers. We will show you the excavation site, and everything that is in it. We hope that there will be personal identification marks. In previous locations, there were two personal identification marks but unfortunately they were open. This is yesterday's location with four Red Army soldiers and now we are over there. This is our dog, her name is Dora, a good friend, besides, she is now pregnant, we are waiting for small dogs. These are the dead soldiers of the 1942 period. This is Barvenkovo Cauldron. This is the third expedition here organized by Yaroslav Zilkin of the Union People's Memory. We see the remains of people as well as a horse that was buried along with the remains of soldiers. The horse has a broken head and a soldier is on top. Bridle bit indicates that this is a horse, and no other animal, there is no horse tack. A soldier who is on top has a completely broken head, possibly during a battle, possibly due to ground pressure from agricultural machinery. The soldier has a pencil rod with him. The most important thing that he has is a personal identification mark. We were surprised that he is in a boot, because we are not used to finding it in boots, but everything is possible during the war. This is soldier number two. The skull is broken, partly due to the lifting of the ground. He has two RGD-33 detonators in his pocket. Grenade M39. A chemical pencil and a small mirror. The most interesting thing is that there is a bullet in the pelvis area, it is from a German rifle or a machine gun. A fighter in boots. One leg is broken. The next soldier. His skull and the front part are completely broken, it seems due to the ingress of iron fragments from the explosion. The right hand is torn off. We can see that the fracture occurred during that distant war. He only has a strap and a pencil in the left breast pocket. Here is a chemical pencil in the sleeve of a Mosin rifle model. Thus, the soldiers often used shell casings because it is convenient to hold in their hand and underwear buttons. He's wearing boots. The next warrior. The head is broken and has a damaged helmet. There are stones inside the skull, these are fragments of our soil. Nothing else was found on the soldier. Here are four soldiers buried with a horse. There is a gas mask in the legs. 
no more items were found. The next location. The metal detector caught a signal on a German steel helmet. Here are Soviet boots and personal belongings, which indicates that these are Red Army soldiers, most likely a captured German helmet but we do not exclude the possibility that there may be a Wehrmacht soldier. When we finish the location, we will find out the truth. We will continue the archaeological cleanup. We hope to find personal identification marks or items with personal inscriptions to identify the fallen soldiers. We have finished our work and you can see here five soldiers of the Red Army. One Soviet soldier in a German steel helmet. The first soldier with a broken skull. Behind his back there are boots, an unbuttoned belt, a buckle, and German buttons. The second soldier has detonators in his pocket. Tinderbox is an old lighter. With the help of such an object and a flint, a spark was produced and bonfires were lit. A fragment of soap. He has a set with cartridges of the Mosin model. This is a very large eraser in his pocket. Have any of you found washing rubber of this size? There are buckles. The skull is also broken. It has a brass strap of the 1937 model. The soldier is about 180 centimeters tall. All these soldiers are young dot here, looking at the bones and cranial boxes of these two fighters, they are up to 25 years old. A third soldier is lying on the ground. The legs are raised to the top. And the fourth soldier lies under the third. It has a spoon. It has a broken glass flask. This is a belt and another Caucasian one. We often find them and they are different, metal or brass. Unfortunately, there are no identification marks or items with a personal letter to identify the name of these soldiers. The next soldier. He had a bag on his back and in it were cartridges for Mosin's rifle. Mosin. 
And here is the next Soviet soldier in a German steel helmet. On the left side, the jaw is broken. Dot. There are Soviet buttons. Initially, it was assumed that he was a Wehrmacht fighter, but there are facts that German commanders forced local residents to collect their fallen soldiers from the fields but Soviet soldiers were thrown into pits and you can see it now. And here it is a war. Here it is a nightmare and horror. These are human destinies that have not returned home. Perhaps it is someone's grandfather or great-grandfather who did not return home. Sasha, are there any soldiers found there? The next location. There is a pot here, on which we caught a signal and found these remains of soldiers. The archaeological cleanup is not over yet. We hope to find personal identification marks. These are paper documents and there are also plectrums for the balalaika. One, two, three. There are three soldiers. Another location with fallen warriors. We see two carbines, there is a rifle bent by agricultural machinery. One of the soldiers in German boots. Presumably from five to seven people of the Red Army. There is a broken Soviet steel helmet with a leather balaclava. The seventh day of the search expedition Barbankovsky Cauldron. You can see eight soldiers thrown into the pit. This is the only location where there was a weapon. There are three carbines and one rifle. This is the first one. The second one. There is a third and last fourth. One of the soldiers has a sapper shovel on his back. Another warrior has captured German boots. There is also a German pouch for the K-98 rifle. The next one is a rifle of the Mosin system, if you notice that it is bent as a result of the work of agricultural machinery in the fields. This is how the sole of German boots from the period of the Second World War looks like. Unfortunately, no personal identification marks were found, but we really hope to find them. Here is a soldier. He has badly broken hip joints, broken thighs. The head is missing, but it is possible that it is under the remains of another warrior. The red pencil was in his pocket. The next one is a flask. Alexei, please open it. Is it Romanian? Perfectly preserved, green in color. Most likely, the Romanian positions were moving.
Неплохая, в принципе, фляжка. Here is such a good museum exhibit. И вот у бойца осколочка. This warrior has a shrapnel hit in the leg. Each of these soldiers has their legs tied with belts. They were dragged to the pit with these belts and thrown inside by local residents on the orders of the leadership of the German units. Под руководством немецких частей мирных жителей стягивали. Пойдем с другой стороны и покажем все, что имеется здесь на локации. Да, сейчас дойдем и у нас здесь получается. There is a Soviet steel helmet SH-40 here. There are two shrapnel hits in it. You can see the gas mask under his head. There is a German sapper shovel. Such a subject is often found in German positions. There is a carbine and a spoon with Shulga's personal signature. We hope to establish the name of this warrior. Вот так вот. Будем надеяться, что возможно будет установить личность этого воина. Далее у нас. Another torn soldier. Only the lower part of the body remained. Nothing remained above the hip. Most likely, the torn one was thrown into the pit. One of the fighters has a pocket watch. С циферблатом полностью все. А, так это компас, да? А, Кировский. О, интересный тоже, да. Хорошие часы. A good watch. Далее у него имеются... Then there are buttons and coins. И, соответственно, уже БК, патроны. There are Nagano pistol cartridges in his pocket. Нагану. Пистолет такой, системы Наган. One of them is a cavalryman with spurs. Ну, в принципе, более предметов. Ага, вот у нас бритвенный набор, да? Есть. Вот он. There is a German pencil sharpener. Это явно немецкая, да? Ух ты! Прикольно. И у нас получается фрагмент шашки. And the lower fragment of шашка. От шашки. Откручено, либо отбито. Ну, в принципе, пока всего лозов не найдем. There are no more items. Unfortunately, there are no personal identification marks and documents. We were pleased to find a spoon with a scratched name. It may be possible to establish the personal data of the warrior. Our friend works here. He's an anthropologist. It measures the skull and determines by nationality and gender. You can see the fallen soldier on a special layout. This is our base and the found remains of fallen soldiers are located in the bags. Что касается небольшого количества, конечно, находок, но... Now you can see some of the items found. Кое-какие предметы были найдены, седла... There are saddles, grenades, steel helmets, fragments of equipment. There are three locks of the Mosin rifle. Gas masks. This is the Kix cartridge magazine for the MG-34-42 machine gun. There are shot bullets. There is a fragment of a cannon. There is a wrench. There is a helmet SH-40. These are stirrups, horseshoes, and bridle bits from horses. Идем дальше, покажем, что у нас тут еще имеется. Так, у нас большая разница в войне. 
Hello everyone. This is a video for the channel. This is our expedition. Так, у нас мутантик. И вот наша вахта. Здесь информация. You can see the information stand. Находится. Так. Вот такие вот карты. These are maps. Описание. Descriptions. Работа поисковиков. And the work of search engines and their flags. Знамена поисковых организаций. Вот. Все. Будем собираться, уезжать. We will say goodbye, dear subscribers. После завтра. Обнаружили поверхностные останки. Вот они белые. Одиннадцать бойцов. Есть один лос. Вот он. Наверное, гнутая. И еще один корабин. Системы Мосина. Тоже взведенный курок в боевое положение. Вместе с шопалом замкнутый. Если вы обнаружили останки погибших воинов или знаете захоронения, где могут находиться данные солдаты, просим обращаться к нам по номеру телефона, который указан на экране. Большое спасибо, с уважением, плацдарм.